शुड विजर्ड हिट मामी पार्ट टू पेज फोर्टी नाइन पैराग्राफ सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ ग्रीटिंग्स एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ ई एन जोजफ पानल फ्रॉम संस्कार स्कूल जयपुर रीडिंग रोजर जो स्क्वीज हर आईज शट एंड स्माइल्ड टू बी थिंकिंग शी वॉज थिंकिंग हर आईज ओपन हर मदर्स ब्लू स्कंक शी सेट फर्मली एक्सप्लेनेशन वेन जैक आस्ट इज डॉटर हु शुड द स्टोरी बी अबाउट विच क्रीचर शुड द स्टोरी बी अबाउट देन जो स्क्वीज हर आईज एंड स्माइल्ड to be thinking what she was thinking and then her eyes opened and jack created with free version for non commercial use came, a thought came to his mind that her eyes were blue just like her mother's and then joe said skunk she wanted the story to be about roger skunk next paragraph reading a new animal they must talk about skunks at nursery school having a fresh hero momentarily stirred jack to creative enthusiasm all right he said once upon a time in the deep dark woods there was a tiny little creature by the name of roger skunk and he smelled very bad explanation so today jo jack's daughter requested him to tell a story about a new animal a skunk so a new animal gave jack created with free version for non commercial use some excitement a new animal telling a story it was not the same old boring animal like roger fish or Ro- roger squirrel or roger chipmunk so he started his story and then he told his daughter jo that roger skunk spell smelled very bad yes jo said so jo expressed her satisfaction next paragraph reading he smelled so bad that none of the other little woodland creatures would play with him jo looked at him solemnly she hadn't foreseen this whenever he would go out to play jack continued with zest remem- remembering certain humiliations of his own childhood created with free version for non commercial use other tiny animals would cry oh oh here comes roger stinky skunk and they would run away and roger skunk would stand there all alone and two little round tears would fall from his eyes the corners of joe's mouth drooped down and her lower lip bent forward as he traced with a forefinger along the side of her nose the course of one of roger skunk's tears explanation jack continued with the story and he explains that because of the bad smell none of the other creatures played with roger skunk now jo became serious because she had not seen that something like this would happen in her story then jack created with free version with for non commercial use with enthusiasm with energy because he remembered how he used to be teased and insulted in his childhood so he is making a connection of what he experienced in the childhood and what roger skunk the creature in the story is experiencing how he is humiliated and insulted by the other creatures and he describes how the other animals would run away and roger skunk would cry and to emphasize how roger skunk would cry jack with his finger traced 
how the tears fell down from Roger Skunk's eyes by moving his finger on his daughter's Created cheek. with free version for non-commercial use. Thank you.